The latest report from the Anti-Defamation League shows a disturbing trend. The number of anti-Semitic incidents has skyrocketed nationwide. Our area is not excluded. Action News reporter Annie McCormick is live along the Ben Franklin Parkway with a closer look at the alarming numbers. Annie. Yeah, and Sarah, the Anti-Defamation League says that they've seen a significant increase in anti-Semitic incidents since October 7th, but they say that they already started to see an increase in anti-Semitic incidents even prior to Hamas's invasion of Israel. Clearly, we see a significant rise, a significant increase that we need everybody to fight back on. We're very concerned about the rise in physical violence um, that seems to be coming from this rhetoric. The Anti-Defamation League's annual audit of anti-Semitic incidents shows nationally they about doubled. And here in our area, an alarming rise in incidents, including assault, harassment, and vandalism. With Pennsylvania seeing four times as many incidents, and in New Jersey, they nearly double, ranking the Garden State number one in the country for incidents per capita. The report does not include any speech at anti-Israel rallies. There is also also an increase in incidents on college campuses, more than two and a half times more than in 2022. Just two weeks ago, Drexel University responded to vandalism at their Hillel Center. Penn was one of several universities called before Congress over their handling of incidents. We saw a significant rise in bomb threats, both nationally and locally. We have to recognize that there's a problem. Michael Balaban is the CEO for the Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia and handled bomb threats just this past week. Overall, the Federation has had to increase security. We've increased the numbers of people at institutions, uh, armed guards, uh, security cameras. Uh, we've increased the number of deputies that we work with. Now, the ADL has several recommendations coming out of this, including calling on each state, on each governor of each state, to include anti-Semitism task forces for their states. For now, reporting live along the parkway, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Okay, Annie, thank you.